you know, these laws are based on uh, cannabis is not a medicine. That's what the law is based on. And uh, they stand behind that cannabis is not medicine in the face of all the scientific evidence that cannabis is medicine. And so this is a war on drugs. And in a war on drugs, there must be some rules of the war on drugs. And if that's true, then there must be some people that are, that are violating the, the rules of war on drugs. And if they're preventing people from receiving life-saving medicine, on an ulterior motive that they want to profit from incarcerating people, then that is truly a war crime. My name is Dr. David Allen. I'm a retired uh, cardiac surgeon, and I'm board certified in general surgery and cardiac surgery. I performed bypass surgery, valve replacements, esophageal surgery, uh, major vascular operations, abdominal aneurysms, uh, fempop bypasses, carotid endarterectomies. So I'm uh, an expert in human uh, anatomy and physiology. I, like everybody else, didn't really know the uh, applications that you could use this plant for. I just thought it was something that made you relax and uh, made you feel good. But I didn't really understand its uh, medicinal properties um, until I became sophisticated enough to understand the pathophysiology and the mechanism of action of how cannabis works. Uh, the United States government has a patent uh, which was delivered to the Department of Health and Human Services in, in 2003. It's the patent number 6,630,507. And it's entitled uh, Cannabinoids as Antioxidants and Neuroprotectants. And uh, it states in that uh, patent that uh, if you give animals cannabidiol, it decreases the size of their stroke by 50%. Now, this is a, uh, a miracle because no other medicine on the face of the earth decreases the size of the stroke by even 2%. Um, and so this is, this is truly an amazing finding. In the patent, they allude to uh, myocardial infarctions, heart attacks. Cannabis works by stimulating cannabinoid receptors on your, your cells, of, of every cell of your body. And they also work as a potent antioxidants and what this means is uh, they they uh, scavenge oxygen free radicals so there's ample evidence that's irrefutable now cannabidiol is safe even when given chronically in large doses to humans and it doesn't get you high it doesn't have any uh, euphoric effect so they could easily be giving this, this medicine to patients that come into the emergency room with heart attacks, strokes, or even spinal injuries. And there's ample evidence that if they gave this medicine to people in the emergency room with these, these illnesses, that they would have vast improvements in their outcome. Now, over 800,000 people have a stroke every year. And of those people, uh, 150,000 of those people die. The rest are left to live and suffer the uh, scourges of a stroke. And this amounts to a great uh, expenditure in health care, which could be alleviated by a medicine which is currently available in California Patients that have uh, valid physician recommendations can get this medicine and can take it on a daily basis as a supplement if they are at high risk for either stroke or heart attack. And uh, they could even take it on an emergency basis if they were to have a chest pain. There's no question. I would, I would personally recommend anybody that's having symptoms of a stroke 
or chest pain, if they could get their hands on a cannabis product that is high in cannabidiol, they could potentially save their lives. And this medicine is available now in California and it is not available in Mississippi and other states where the lawmakers prevent sick and dying patients from receiving this life-saving medicine. Uh, so if you, if you are at, at high risk for a stroke or, or heart attack, you should immediately contact uh, your uh, medical cannabis provider and uh, attempt to obtain a product with high CBD cannabidiol in it and take this orally uh, on a daily basis. And if you eat it, uh, if you eat the bud in its natural form, it will have full medicinal effect and not get you high at all if you, if you just eat the raw bud. So really cannabis is an essential part of the human diet. Uh, that's, that's an important concept I want people to take home with them. It's an absolutely, it's a preventive medicine. If you use cannabis, you will have less problems with a lot of different disease processes. And uh, uh, cannabis, really the endocannabinoid system uh, is a regulatory system that uh, regulates homeostasis. And what that means is uh, if something stimulates you too much, it brings it down. If if you're a little bit depressed, it brings it up. So cannabis uh, provides an even balance uh, in the human body.